everyone, my name is Dr. Keith Lipinski, and this is AEW News. Well, AEW wishes to congratulate the over 200 people that filled up the Berwyn Eagles Club last Friday night. And it was, in fact, a day of defiance against mediocre professional wrestling. And what a day of defiance it was. And the main event, Sammy Callahan, Shane Hollister, went over 30 minutes. Both men just just beaten beyond belief. In the end, Shane Hollister defeats Sammy Callahan when Sammy Callahan cannot get up by senior referee P.J. Drummond's count of 10, proving once again a match should have an end, especially a last man standing match. But that wasn't all. In a fantastic tag team matchup, the AEW heavyweight champion Michael Elgin and the Heritage Champion ACH teamed up to take on Team Ambition of Kyle O'Reilly and Davey Richards. Kyle O'Reilly pinning ACH, and both these men right now have one victory against one another. Also, speaking of that Davey Richards fellow, he faced the man, the myth, the legend, the hair, mixed martial Archie, in a match that I don't think any of us will forget anytime soon. But up and down, the AAW debut of Eddie Kingston. Wow, this was not just a show, this was an event. And this event will be available shortly at smartmarkvideo.com. But what a fantastic night of pro wrestling action. And AAW right now is on a tear, as it were. We are basically trying to become the premier indie in the nation. And we will show once again what AAW Pro Wrestling Redefined is all about on Friday night, June 28th in beautiful Berwyn, Illinois. We are back at the Eagles Club and we are bound by hate. And the main event has been signed for this match. Two men, one, the AEW Heavyweight Champion, Unbreakable, Michael Elgin. The other, the number one contender, the man that's on a roll right now, this man right here, speaking to him right after his last man standing match as he was pondering his past and thinking about his future, Shane Hollister. As I sit here and think about tonight and feeling physically everything I'm feeling, my throat is uh, pretty beat up. Uh, my leg is very battered. Uh, and speaking of my leg, people want to know why Shane Hollister walks around with a chip on his shoulder or he's pissed off. I'm going to tell you a story of why I'm pissed off. Why I might be walking around with a chip on my shoulder. You know, there's this company that was going to start up, uh, I think it was 2011. I was supposed to be there. The very first show, on this big show on the East Coast, I was supposed to be there. I broke my leg on a Sunday before the show was on a Saturday. <clears throat> and that was me my first time on the East Coast. It was gonna, Jane Allister name was gonna go. And like when I broke my leg, I closed my eyes and I just was hoping that it, was, it wasn't real. Hoping that I was gonna wake up from a dream, a horrible dream. But no, it was real. Steel plate and 10 screws in my left leg never coming out. That's there for life, for this business. People said I wasn't gonna come back. I did, came back a better wrestler. I beat somebody I couldn't be for a year straight, Eric Cannon. I beat him in 30 seconds for the Heritage Championship. Felt real good. But then again, like, I was kind of waiting for that phone call to be invited back to that company. I was supposed to be on the very first one. And I never got that phone call. So, again, good things are happening here in AEW, but, like, still waiting, like, for things to brighten up everywhere else. So I'm happy here. Everything's going great here. Uh, my first title defense, Austin Aries. Beat Austin Aries. Second title defense, oh, what do you know? Michael Elgin, that AAW heavyweight champion. 
I beat him. And then I beat Davy Richards. Nobody thought that was gonna happen. And all these things are happening and I still have no phone call. So I close my eyes and I bite my tongue. I say nothing. Frustration builds. <clears throat> it was getting to the point where like I wasn't, I was like kind of like stagnant I felt like in the wrestling business. I was like, here I am, I'm the heritage champion, but like I want more, I crave more. I'm seeing all these opportunities given to other people and where's mine? And it starts to build and build and build and build. And then like, you know, I lose the heritage championship. And again, I close my eyes and I bite my tongue. And it's just what I've been doing is close my eyes and bite my tongue. But now it's the point where I close my eyes. All I see is red. And when I bite my tongue, all I taste is blood. And my whole career has been building up to this. I beat Sammy Callahan tonight one of the best in the world. So what does that make me? My AAW career is culminating. When I get my title shot, I promise everyone I won't disappoint. Another best in the world, Michael Elgin, will just fall to my known hands like everyone else. I can, I am. Shane Hollister, of course, on a roll. 2013 has been a fantastic year for him as he's had huge victories over Brian Kendrick, over Jimmy Jacobs in that phenomenal match that we had earlier on this year. And then of course, defeating Sammy Callahan in a last man standing match and also winning the number one contendership way back in February, Dirty Nellies. And now he will cash in the shot. However, he has to face this man right here. The behemoth himself, unbreakable, the AEW heavyweight champion, Michael Elgin. Shane, it's been over two years since me and you have been in that ring one-on-one. -on -one. Seventh anniversary. But I was a different man back then, Shane. I came in and you were the heritage champion. And you beat me. But since then... I never lost the Heritage title when I had it. And now, you're looking at the heavyweight champion. See Shane, ever since I won this title, I knew this was coming. Ever since I won this title, you knew this was coming. Shane Hollister, Michael Elgin for the AAW Heavyweight Championship. See Shane, you go around saying that you're ready to be the heavyweight champion. But the question is, are you ready to beat Michael Elgin? Because when I look at a man like you, I look deep into his eyes and I see his soul. And I can tell you, Shane, you're not ready. Shane, June 28th, you find out Michael Elgin is unbreakable. And you realize that they say God created all men equal. They were wrong. Michael Elgin brings up an excellent point there. The fact that him and Hollister have not faced off and it's been a while and how both men have changed. The question is, has Shane Hollister changed too over the last two years? We will find out on June 28th. It's a Friday night in Berwyn. You ought to come out because this is going to be another fantastic night of professional wrestling excellence provided by your friends here at AAW. Also on the show, the Monster Mafia returns to action in AAW as the team of Josh Alexander and Ethan Page will face off against Zero Gravity. Also, Heidi Loveless, Heather Patera, Miss Natural go one-on-one -on -one once again. And we'll have comments for both those ladies in about two weeks. However, next week here at the AAW News, we will have pictures of the events involving Eddie Kingston, and Silas Young, and the first comments from the man himself, Eddie Kingston. For more information on AAW, check out AWWrestling.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and we'll be back next week with comments from Eddie Kingston. Till then, this is Dr. Keith Lipinski, signing off, everybody. AAW. This is professional wrestling. Redefined.